So this is exciting. We're gonna do a whole separate video while I'm here in California because we are now parking again because the spaces are tiny in California at the Peterson Automotive Museum. This is gonna be fun. So here we are ordering at Van Black's new distribution vehicle, right? Maybe. <laughs> Before you even get inside the Tesla magic truck, super truck, lightning, what the hell they call that thing? Semi alpha prototype. That's pretty wild, man. I'm gonna see if I can read for a second and come back. Look at the dual tablets. So it looks like the driver sits there with two giant screens next to him, and there's like a co driver back there. Yeah, he's in the middle. Look, the driver's in the middle. That's wild looking, man. Oh, the headlights need to go back under warranty because they're foggy. Just, just saying. Range three to 500 miles. So there's a bunch of truckers that watch this. Is three to 500 miles adequate? <laughs> I don't think so. Wow. The um, windshield's extra. It's an option to add a windshield. Otherwise, you eat bugs. It's a four-wheel motorcycle. Well, a window rock hits a oh, a Koenigsegg. You ever heard of those before? They're crazy. Like $3 million. Something like that. I think that was the fastest car around the Top Gear track was a Koenigsegg. There are a couple of them in... Uh, That's in, wild. Fifteen hundred horsepower. They're trying to get up, uh, get up the driveway. And they because they, they'll like, dip, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they they have to do this back and forth like twenty times. They they still couldn't get. A lot out. of these have a switch that raised the nose because it it can't clear curbs and stuff like that. Fifteen hundred horse on a car that weighs. It doesn't say the weight right away. Very little. It's probably all carbon fiber. Back to the McLaren. These are cool because they shoot fire out the tailpipes. <laughs> Again, Ferrari with one seat. Again, second seat costs. You add that. This is the I hate my wife edition. <laughs> How cool is that though, man? That's not a car. That's just like art with wheels. The switch gear. Some of these I've seen, like that, I'm kidding about the one seat, that, that hatch over there might come off and there might be a seat under there. I've seen some of them that do oh, that. Maybe. Where it's like, it folds down. Yeah, it like folds down. Because it's all about aerodynamics, right. so. Wow. That's pretty, though. So. A Lotus motorcycle. Yeah. I like how they put the logo on the, the radiator. Assuming it's a radiator. That's cool. 1,200, 200 horse, two, 0 to 62 mile an hour in 2.6 seconds. 137 grand. They actually sell that. Yeah. And then you have an Aston Martin here. That's wild. Whose motor is it? There's no way that, like, Aston Martin's designing. You know? That's wild. And that's 110 grand. Oh. 180 horse. Zero to 62 unavailable. I suck as a cameraman, but if you like uh, British supercars, there you go. Wow. Beautiful stainless work. That's, that's really, that's pretty. So, it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Um, I don't, it's not my thing, but it's interesting because the, the wheels are cool. The body kit's kind of understated. So this is a Model S Plaid. I've ridden in these overseas. It's, it is a nice car to ride in, but 1,000 horsepower equivalent. That's nice. Zero to 60 in 1.99 seconds and just 200 mile an hour. Well then, and it's got a Knight Rider steering wheel, which I'm all in. 
so I get to finally answer a question I've had forever. So the Maserati MC12, again, a big Top Gear UK nut. And I saw this go around the track. And I was always trying to figure out for years, oh, that is a window. Or is it? No. Seriously, this is the kind of shit that I wonder. I can see the motor. Oh, that's a motor, like a vent over the engine. But I guess it doesn't actually have a back window. I always wondered that. Nope, none at all. But look at those headlights. That's got to be one of the best looking noses on a car in years. And then next to it, the Enzo. electric how I missed that I don't know but it's an electric motorcycle 120 horse 160 mile an hour 120 mile range so range is still a problem even when you're cool looking that's cool look at the, look at the frame So we've been looking at this for a while. It's, it's an art installation. It's supposed to look like a big 60s sedan by a guy. And Alan's like, it looks like, like a really cool booth in a burger joint. I was like, no, no, no. It's a private little den of badness. <laughs> you never know when kids are going to watch this. So, like, you get in there, it closes up, and you uh, play poker. Okay, yeah. A special edition Bugatti Chiron, three point six million dollars. The successors to the uh, Veyron. Right? Yeah, one thousand four hundred seventy-nine horsepower. And they should say what it weighs. It doesn't say it on there because they're also very light. So, imagine what kind of tire it takes to hold fourteen hundred horse. Unbelievable. It's two V8s put together. I think it has four turbos or something like that, like eight radiators. It's in craze. The amount of heat it has to keep under control. That is huge. Rimac. Oh, this. This is the car that Richard Hammond wrecked. Again, on Top Gear. And it caught fire and burned. And then the day later, don't mind me, dude. Sorry, rude son of a bitch. Um, the car caught fire, they put it out, and the next day it caught fire again, just sitting there wrecked. That's cool. It's electric. And you thought the fade paint job went out in the 90s. Works on this though, don't it? Good God. Look at the rear end. I was walking away and was like, thought I was done with it. That rear end is wild. It's like the Lambos of old, right? Make no sense at all. It's crazy. Pagani Zonda. Tricolore. It's gaudy, but awesome. Look at the switch gear. Look at the, the buckle on the glove box. You know? It's just, it's not a car. It's just art, you know? I wouldn't want to drive it, Alan. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to drive that. It's too, no. it's too I, perfect. It probably last for like 15 minutes. It's just, it's, I mean, it's just too perfect. You're going to scratch it. You know, it's... And I don't believe in owning things that you don't want to use, but that's insane. Like, the blue color in the carbon fiber. A turn signal. You know? It's 
So, stats. Only 670 horse. Can't even get up a hill. Oh, that's it? 3.4 <laughs> seconds. Not impressive. In terms of power. 1.75 mil. And the funny thing is you have something I think is a truly beautiful car next to this, which is... I'm... I'm sorry. That's ugly. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm not. Hispano Suiza. This this purple is very uh, early two thousand. It's well, it's, and it's also. I mean, the carbon fiber under it's interesting, but I, it's like the. I don't like the lines of the face. You know, like it's just not. Besides the purple. The big gaudy emblem on the on the grill is interesting. But, the rest of the car is just not. Not so much. We're charging it. <laughs> is it actually? No. It has its own little... It said that... It didn't say about electric. I didn't read it, though. But... Oh, Ferrari FXX. Yeah, it's... It's it's uh, gas and electric, if I correctly. Just like the fridge in my RV, by the way. Gas and electric. <laughs> it's the same exact thing. <laughs> So, oh, okay, yeah, no, I'm sorry, I did say that. 6.3 liter V12 and one electric motor, so it's 1,035 horse. But I think that's just the gas motor. But it's very Batmobile. <laughs> that's cool. Alan says his car's too old. He doesn't want it. <laughs> This is 2015. It's wore out. So this is the... the know, it's, 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 well, actually, it's, it's got V8, so it's okay. It's electric also, though. It's also electric. It's kind of like a hybrid. But it's... it's, it's so it's, it's responsible for the environment. You should buy one. So it's the equivalent to that. I remember when they did this, like, showcase of gas electric cars, you had the Ferrari FXX, then there was a McLaren, and then there was the 918 Spider, which was... I don't think they ever put them on the track versus each other. It was always nobody wanted to find out who was fastest, so they wouldn't let them do it. But yeah, two point eight seconds, eight hundred and forty-five grand. I do remember watching a video, though. Like I'm always intrigued by the fire of the tailpipe comes up. Those do blow fire when they're under under load. Pretty well. I'm not that cool as far as like the high end European stuff. So we're starting to get into my area. This one looks like. A style this is me right i would yeah this is everyday driver for me and you can tell it's for me because it's broken on the lift <laughs> so 32 forward look this is when you get when you're chroming suspension components and stuff that's when you're getting serious you can see the motor up there but that's pretty name of the bike is or uh, bike name of the car is orange twist nice flame job very cool. We got a Foos car here. Started as a 32 Ford. So sort of a classic approach. And then when Chip Foos gets a hold of it, it's nice, man. It's real pretty. Needless to say, I'm sure it's going to have amazing wheels. Right. If you grew up Overseas, like yeah. A vintage is more like a 95, like a RX7 or something like that. An old RX7, yeah. uh, Those would be a an one MR2, was the Honda CRX, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, like, but my family all had old cars. My my Uncle Eddie has a 34 Ford right now. So, it's, I just love them, man. Like, I wonder, if, so I'm curious, I haven't read all this. Let me check it out. What I was trying to see is it's got a, you know, a fuelie badge on the side. Right there. And uh, good color. You'll see why I think it's a good color pretty soon. Um, I was curious if it had like a Fuley Corvette drivetrain or something like that. I was trying to figure out where that came from. It doesn't say. But just a really nicely done car. Thirty-two Ford with a crazy nose cone. Then you can swap it out, I guess. That's cool. There's a picture of it with the nose cone on it. 
really cool stuff. And then we get to the den of socially responsible, I guess. I don't know. Why dynamic trio 2017 Sondor's EV prototype. Okay, so it's the history of EV. Kind of interesting. I don't know. And you've got Good God Kill Me. And look at this wild little sucker. So this is interesting. So somebody built an EV race car. Uh, 120 mile an hour race car. 221 horse. Electric. That's fun. That looks terrifying though. Because I think if those go bad, they go real bad, you know? And then... What was this one? Oh, that's right. The GM EV1. This was their first attempt that did not go well. 100 mile range. They built 1,100 of them. I remember this. That's crazy. I don't know. They built that many of them. And next to the EV1, we have Dr. Seuss's car just why like why why does it need to look like a fish for it to be electric I, I, I'm, I'm not I'm not feeling it I do think Mrs. Monkey would love this though I think this is her style there you go the 1960 electric shopper 30 miles on a charge 63 years old <laughs> and the missus would ride out to work every day I guarantee it Kilowatt. We'll see. Oh, this is hilarious. Oh my god, yeah. So this was basically an adaption of a Renault Dolphin in 1963 to make an electric car out of it. My grandfather had a Renault Dolphin, but I think it was older, so it was bigger than this, but that's crazy. <laughs> I feel like that's front end impact is kind of a problem. Because on this guy, which I didn't even see what it is yet, besides the really cool looking air scoop, your legs are just right out there in glass. Like there's no firewall. So, how's that going to work in a collision? So, there's a sign. So. Whale tail's pretty wild. So it steers with a rudder. <laughs> I'm kidding. The rear's as wild as the front. It's nuts. So a 1915 electric car, this is cool. I was just saying that you gotta think, when this car was being made, the idea of a gasoline motor wasn't sold either. So the idea of doing electric's fine. You know, like it's not like you're trying to transition people. But look at look at the way the interior is. You have like a seat that faces you. Yeah. It looks like a little living room with wheels under it. <laughs> so look, if they make an electric car just like this, that like you know you can just roll around looking like I, I buy that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. If I can roll around with someone facing me, having perhaps a cocktail and drive yeah, itself, I'm done. Uh, everybody in your neighborhood has one that's charging up. Yeah, there you go. I'm done. This is great. This is wild. So this is like, everyone's talking about the new, the new electric Volkswagen van. I haven't seen one in person. Doesn't say what the range is on it yet, but the people are talking about this like crazy already. The ID buzz. Let's see what the front end looks like. Do they go all the way? Does it have a big old emblem on the front? Need to put more windows in it. All right, hang on. Let's see if I can get around there. Can we see the front end at all? I'm reaching behind a fixture right now. So, yeah. It's, it's, I don't know. I was more excited about it than seeing it in person. It's not quite as amazing. It should be boxier, but I know that's an aerodynamic. That's cool. So, like, a really cool story, the Ditamasos, they made, they made the Pantero. This one's the Mangusta, looks like. 
but they used American V8s, so they would have like a Chrysler or a Ford. But it's just a neat period in car design when you had these small shops that would build really cool supercars and then just grab an American off the shelf V8 and throw it in there. But just really neat stuff. Shall we get to Mazo? The amount of money in this building is insane. Like. Oh. There you go. Battery pack. So it's like that van. I guess it's, it's all just platform technology. You know? That's gorgeous. So that's the De Tommaso Vallelunga. Uh, but with the leather work and stuff. With the parcel shelf in the back. And this is a four cylinder Ford. How cool is that? Such a dramatic, like, front end. So pretty. That's cool. I couldn't fit it in. Old man monkey would love this. He actually legitimately wants a dune buggy to drive. Good dad? In Florida. Yeah, he actually wants badly. To drive around. Yeah. On the street. He wants to find an old dune buggy. And I mean maybe not a racer like this, but and wants that to be his everyday driver. Because he forgets we live in South Florida and it's 110 degrees all the time. Right. I don't know what he's thinking, but he really, really wants one. RC toys, yeah, it does. It's a full size RC car. <laughs> and a Hennessy Venom. I think Steven Tyler from Aerosmith, I think, has one or something. 1800 horsepower. Wow. 6.6 .6 liter turbocharged V8. I wonder how that starts. That's probably not their own motor. I'm just curious. They start with like a GM crate or something. Hennessy also does pickup trucks and stuff. They do like a Hennessy version of the Raptor and all that as well. And Ford GT, of course. This is an 06 with a motor out of an F-150. Supercharged up to 550 horse. <laughs> Again, they should put the weight on the placard, like it doesn't say. I've actually never seen one without go faster stripes. It's just a solid color gray. I've never seen one like that. So, as you see, it's like a sport bike that you sit down low in. Powered by Honda. The Alligator Ace, that's fugly. Oh, that's, that's made in production, $35,000. 35 grand for a sport bike turned into a scooter. But you're sitting at where the, your, your feet usually are. I, on a scooter. I, 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 I don't know. Look at that guy. He does not look comfortable. Mm -hmm. Sit on your tailbone on a vinyl pad like that. That. No, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> Hey, Billy Lane, you need to admit the uh, 1905 FN four-cylinder into the uh, Sons of Speed races. Just saying, like that. <laughs> 35 mile an hour top speed, 350 bucks in 1905. That's cool. I just realized FN is the same FN that's the gun company. They used to buy pistols today. So it says Fabrique Nationale de Armes de Guerre. I don't know. FN. Is that the same as FN Herstall? Somebody comment. So this is a motorcycle that's been made by I think a modern day pistol company. Somebody comment. Is FNH the same as FN? Curious. Hmm. So the, the great great granddaddy of Mercedes Benz, the 1886 Benz patent motor wagon. Is it steam? I can't remember. Is it a steam motor or Carl Benz, yeah. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
engine, four-stroke engine. So it is a gas motor. Like you can't tell from that. I was wondering if it was gas or if it was steam or. So the your very first Mercedes right there, basically. So we're thinking like this is like very early vehicles period. And you may not see this well very well in the video, but um, your very first self-propelled vehicle was in 1769 by a French dude named Nicholas C-U-G-N-O-T. Cuno? I don't know. But it was steam. And then 1805, you've got an American steam-powered tractor-looking thing. And then the 1867 Roper was basically a a big wheel with a motor on it. I mean, a big wheel, a high wheel, whatever they call it. And then 75, and then an 1886. So there's a, there's a lot of them before this. So there's the bins, and then there's several before that. That's really cool. This 59 Chevy is not exactly what you're expecting. Must be a concept car, right? Look at that. That's friggin' gorgeous. 59 Chevy. Wow. They have a Tucker. I don't know if you've ever seen this movie with Jeff Bridges, but... This car is wild. The engine was supposed to be like helicopter-derived. That center headlight steers with a steering wheel. This is an, there's a movie that's really good. What a beautiful car. And GM and Ford and Chrysler put them out, basically. Yeah, 48 Tucker. 2450, they only built 50 of them. And the engine was supposed to be derived from a helicopter or something. He wanted it to do 100 miles for 24 hours or something like that. It was just... He wanted to build a truly great car, and the big three killed him, basically. I mean, not physically, but they put him out of business. Look at the dash. How cool is that? Oh, that's grainy. Look at that. So cool. So something to, something to mention. Um, this is Tucker's personal car. So this is number 30-something of 50-something. So this is Tucker's car. So I don't know if I said this earlier, but you know, you're know you going to pay 20-something bucks to park. You're going to pay $20 ahead to get in, and it's worth every penny. This is a really cool thing. So if you're ever in the L.A. area, Peterson Automotive Museum is a, is a must. Like, you need to do this. And this is a big time. So back to the future DeLorean. Actually, screen used, driven in 85, 89, and 90. In all three movies, this one was in the actual film. So, a car of fascination with everybody born in the 70s, for sure. A Back to the Future car or a DeLorean? Yeah, yeah. DeLorean, this one. But it's real popular. A lot of them get turned into Back to the Future tribute cars. I took a picture of it. It was like, I was like, dude, like, this guy's driving the uh, <laughs> Back to the Future. So is that the later edition of the Mr. Fusion, wasn't it? I can't remember. So I wonder, yeah, so in the later movies, it was it was supposed to be nuclear-powered, so I wonder if it's... But this actual car we're looking at was in all three movies. Another child of the 70s car, Starsky and Hutch, for Torino, 76 Torino. This actually was used on the show 75 to 79. You can see the headrests are autographed. Whoa, shit. I almost just tripped over an alarm. That would have been great. And... Eleanor, next to it. 67 Mustang. This one, let me read and I'll be right back in a second. I just want to verify, yes, this is actually the movie car. So this is the Eleanor. And 
love this car. It doesn't say if it's an actual GT500 or not, or if it's just a, you know, a built movie car, but... So, not actually screen used, but still cool. It's a replica, studio authorized replica, but it's, so it's perfect, but it's not, not been used in the movie. But very cool. Thing's freaking massive, you see it in person. And a real kit. So this was driven in the series, 82 to 86. It's a great channel, if you haven't seen it before, called Knight Rider Historians. If you're, you know, again, kid born in the 70s who watched Knight Rider and stuff, they actually have some of the original kits. They've searched for the original Goliath, all that stuff. So it's a good channel. Check that out. But they've been on, like, Leno's channel and stuff. Really, really cool. I mean, it's just a Firebird, right? <laughs> but you can see the dash is... Got all the crazy switches and stuff. And I'm sure the taillights are blacked out. Yeah. Very cool. And the course. The taillight. Which, if you had the toy like I did, as a kid, you pressed on the license plate. And that's made Kit talk. I remember that. Yeah, I'm a geek. And then, for some reason, that's been removed. For shooting. And a lot of them, like one of them, the driverless car... There was actually a guy who wore a suit who looked like a that looked like a seat. So the seat was a person. That's how the you saw the driverless car in the show. And if you look closely, you could see obviously these like, you know, tan foamy arms <laughs> steering steering the car. But that's how they did the driverless car scenes. And then of course they put a longer front clip on it, and then his main sensor on the front, which unfortunately is not hooked up and turned on. That'd be cool. But how do you not have the light going, you know? Definitely this is in Men in Black. I don't know. It's called the Boris bike. And then Men in Black 3. I don't know. It's not my thing, but if you're interested, there you go. Oh, my little one was tiny. And Lightning McQueen. <laughs> Obviously not the real one because the real one's a cartoon. But, you know, still fun. I watched these movies so many times when Minnie Monkey was a baby. It's crazy. I don't feel like I would fit, but God, that's gorgeous. I think you would. <laughs> I think, I mean, you have to cut the roof off. I'm breathing, but yeah. what, no, I'd have to take up both seats. Yeah. I just have to sit in the middle. You know? right. But I thought it was <laughs> a Porsche. I just saw it for sure and I assumed it was something by Porsche. But and it's actually not old. It's 2019. Oh wow! I thought it was old. That's really cool. 200 horse. It, I, I can't read what. Uh, it's a German race car, 50s. 50s German race car reproduction. Yeah. Doesn't say what motors in it, I don't see. but. And it was actually commissioned by a Chicago enthusiast. But that's really cool. You know what I saw in Vegas recently? This reminded me of this. Um, James Dean's Death Cars Transaxle is in the Haunted Museum in Las Vegas. Oh, really? So seeing this reminded me of that. Yeah, so there's there's actually... I took a video of it. I'll see if I can stick it in here if I remember. <laughs> Probably my favorite because I'm a you know, truck and SUV nut, really. This is cool. So it's a 1949 Willys Jeep station wagon. That's really cool. And it has like a... I'm guessing that's some sort of awning. No, wait a minute. It's, it's got a filler. What is that? What is that? Somebody comment down below. Is it like a a water vessel? What the hell is it? I'm going to see. It doesn't say. Somebody say what that is. So it's like a tube with a filler cap on it. I thought it would be like an awning or something, but I have no idea what that is. And then you got like a tent up top. I'm sure that's period correct, but what the, heck, the hell is that? No, I think it's a tent, but like why, why is there like a liquid? Maybe it is just for water, you know, I, if you're camping or something. No, look, it's got a filler cap on top. It's just bizarre but it said it's one of the first all steel vehicles ever made but that's beautiful I love that I don't know if you've ever ridden in like a Toyota FJ40 or something but that is a an interesting driving experience the engine noise coming through the firewall and all that the smell of gasoline inside the vehicle <laughs> but that's cool and what a 59 yeah 56 vet 
There you go. No, not 59. 59 had the, yeah. So, probably be the last car we look at unless I see anything on the way out. That's pretty. So, I forgot. This is not the end. There was one last little gallery for us to look at, which is basically a shrine to Elon Musk. I don't know. It's like the Tesla gallery. So, we'll go through this. Whether you're into electric cars. If you're not into electric cars, just turn it off now because that's all this is. So, that's the mule which is basically a Lotus Elise that they pulled everything out of and turned into their first ever prototype of the Roadster. So they bought an existing car, basically hollowed it out and turned it into their first electric car. It was fast as hell. And then you have their design of their body. All these great quotes. Can Tesla become a real automaker in 2009? Things that don't age well. Electric cars are an extraordinarily bad idea from 2011. We're talking 12 years ago, not that long. Sorry, but electric cars are a waste of space. <laughs> and then you got, you know, the actual Tesla Roadster. Like the one they fired into space. 2008 battery pack. Two thousand fifteen Model S dual motor. That's so if you go to Hong Kong and order an Uber, it'll be one of these probably. <laughs> but even eight years ago, they had the giant screen and all that. And display of the aerodynamics of a 14 model S, which is that good? I don't know, is blue good? I, you know, somebody comment, I have no idea. Yay, charging stations, sexy. The Model 3 prototype. The Model X prototype. So, side note, had one of those as an Uber. Back seat is tiny. <laughs> Model X. So the prototype versus, I'm guessing, production. 2020, yeah. Ooh, what's this? Don't worry, we'll get to the Cybertruck. Roadster 2.0, that's cool. I haven't seen any news about that. Then the semi that we saw up front. and then a Model X that says NASA on it. I don't know, we'll see in a minute. Model X long range astronaut shuttle. Oh, okay. So they put astronauts in it, I don't know. Is that like the one they sent into space or something? And now we'll go look at the Cybertruck. Cybertruck. Alan wants one of these really bad, so I'm not going to be able to get him away from it. So their own little four-wheeler. So you're going to put a deposit down or what? I'm sold. Oh, you bought, you're, you bought this one? No, but I'm sold. But <laughs> I look at it. And it looks really nice. You think so? But it, it's, it looks like it was designed with an etch sketch <laughs> I think so? It is. It's Let's but go see. Just so you can touch a piece of stainless steel? No, he's looking. He's looking. He's definitely looking. Don't try. He doesn't look to have a sense of humor. So, have you ever seen the movie, like, was it Delta Force? or No, not Delta Force. Something. that reminds me of the, the wheels on their bikes. Some of you will know what I'm talking about. Some of you are geeks out there. You know what I'm talking about. Um, Chuck Norris. Delta something. So, it does. You're, you're right. The flat dash looks a little unfinished. Looks like you know, it looks like a, oh, it looks like a prototype, like a mock-up. You know, like. And look at that. You got some crooked. You know, I'm not knocking. I mean, you know, but. But the production Model Three, Model S, they're all like that. So. Exactly. Definitely looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. Look at the height. Oh yeah. Size. Look at the stands. 
<laughs> um, the hood on my GMC Denali is higher. <laughs> For real. My Denali's hood is higher than that. <laughs> so Baja lights are there. I was actually thinking a light that says backwards, get out of my way. So they can see it in their mirror. Oh, there's a camera here, so you can't really block it. So yeah. But it'd be nice if you put a Baja light in there. Ooh, got a little banged up here. Somebody did something wrong. That was a little wonky. Pretty wild.